Texture Layout Control gives you the power to easily create complex layouts for your application. In our past videos, we've covered how to use the extra layout control at design time, but as a developer, there are times when a layout needs to be generated and customized using code at runtime. In this video, you'll learn how to create a simple layout control with a single group and then add two items to it. This will of course be done completely from code, so let's get started. I start with a new WinForms application. I double click on the form to create a handler for its load event. First, I'll add a reference to the devexpress.extra layout namespace. Back in the event handler, I create a new layout control object. I set its dock property to fill so that it fills the entire available client area. Finally, I add it to the controls collection of form 1. I run the application. You can see that we've created an empty layout with a single group and docked it to its parent. I can, of course, resize the form and the layout control resizes with it. Let's go back to Visual Studio and add a couple of items to the layout. I create a new layout control item called item 1 and add it to the root of the current layout. I set its name property to layout item 1. Next, I create a new text box control. I set its name property to text box 1 and add it to the layout control item I created earlier. Lastly, I set the text property of the item to name. To make things more interesting, I'm going to add a second text box to the layout control. I copy and paste the code. Here, I'll change the item and text box names as well as the item's text property. And I'm done. I run the application again to see the results. You can see both layout items have been created and stacked on top of each other. I can now resize the form and all the components are resized accordingly. For more information, please refer to the Extra Layout Controls documentation. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for choosing DevExpress.